encourage you here. In this video, we're going to recreate uh, an entire web page uh, from scratch uh, of uh, this UI kit uh, called uh, Coca. So this uh, is a kit which I recently found on UI8 and uh, I really like the design style. So we're going to basically reproduce uh, our page from here. And uh, I'm going to leave the link in the description if you're interested in uh, seeing uh, the full UI kit. But now without further ado, let's uh, get started. And uh, the page that we're going to create is going to be this one right here the blogs and article. And uh, in other videos, what I did previously is uh, uh, we created many more of these pages. So if you're interested in learning more about it, feel free to check out the previous tutorials. Now, without further ado, let's get started. And the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to go on the uh, desktop and we're going to create this uh, frame over here, which is 1440 pixels of width which in my personal opinion, I think it's a good place to start whenever you're dealing with uh, a desktop size uh, for a website. Now let's uh, go over here and let's rename this uh, to one. And uh, we are going to get started by recreating uh, this uh, logo. So as you can see, we have the circle. So first thing first, uh, by using the shift key uh, in order to create a perfect circle, we're going to create uh, the base of the logo. And then we're going to apply a linear gradient, which is somewhat similar to the original. It doesn't need to be like uh, perfect, or if you want to mimic it exactly, uh, that's totally fine as well. So let's go over here, let's add uh, these uh, two colors, and we have this uh, nice uh, linear gradient. Now at this point, what we're gonna do is we're going to add uh, a C, and uh, the C is going to be, well, first of all, bigger. And uh, we're going to need uh, to use TM Sans, which is the font that was used in the original kit. Now at this point, I'm going to right click, I'm going to do outline stroke, bring it all the way here, make it white. You can do it also by clicking on this. And we're going to increase uh, the size of this letter quite a bit. So let's group it all together. And we have uh, the icon. We'll also rename it to icon. And uh, here we go. Now at this point, text tool again, click Coca. And uh, we're going to use a little bit of less letter spacing so that you, you get that more unified look onto it and uh, we are going to increase uh, the size just a little bit. Let's bring it up and here we go. We can go with the outline strokes for this one as well. And uh, we basically have our base uh, logo for the website. Okay, it's not perfect, but uh, we definitely have a solid start on this. Let's decrease the size just a little bit. And before we move on with the rest, uh, one thing that I like to do is to add a layout grid and we're going to add columns. In particular, we're going to go with 12 columns, add a little bit of margin so that there's a breathing room uh, in this uh, website design. And we're going to <clears throat> decrease uh, the color of this. Let's make it a light gray so that we can still see the layout grids, but they're not really as visible. And here we go. All right, at this point, integrate the button on the top. Let's add it over here. Let's write some text. Sign in. Let's make it significantly smaller. Maybe at, maybe at 16 points. That will do and uh, let's center it all together. All right, just like that. Let's uh, round this up quite uh, significantly. Let's make it 10% opacity. All right, let's group it together, bring it on the right, and uh, we are going to use nuclear icons, which as you may know, my favorite uh, icon management software out there. And uh, as it uh, is opening it up, 
also on a M1 Mac. Uh, weird that it's not opening it uh, like this, but hey, that's totally fine. Sometimes things happen. Actually, I do have uh, a video which is rendering in the background, so that might actually be one of the reasons why it's taking uh, a little bit longer than uh, I was expecting it, but that's totally fine. These are not uh, these are non problems. So let's go ahead and let's uh, duplicate this. And uh, we are going to basically use the news and articles. And by the way, check out guys, this is one of the recent um, tools that uh, secret tools which I'm using. If you don't have the editable layer, use this uh, tool called capture text, you do like this and it copies exactly the uh, the text. So super handy. I uh, can tell you like how many times uh, this has been. Um, and uh, yeah, this is super handy. So let's go over here, capture text, login article. And here we go. Let's increase the size quite significantly. And we're going to bring this one uh, here below. Let's uh, increase it to 16. And uh, we are in a good uh, in a good spot so far. All right. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this one uh, over here. And uh, we're going to basically create a structure for these guys. So actually, let's make it just a little bit smaller. All right, that'll do. Let's bring this one over here. Let's uh, add a few different uh, make it smaller. We're trying to basically replicate this, uh, at least the basic style. <clears throat> and let's uh, bring this one here. We're going to add uh, this text. And again, I'm, I'm pretending that I don't have the, the layered version. So I'm just going to like apply things uh, as uh, they look initially. And uh, same for this one. Capture text. Let's capture this one. Significantly smaller. And uh, let's capture this last one here. So you get the point with uh, this uh, really nice uh, plugin, which is making our life significantly easier. All right. And let's bring in this one here. Let's make it a little bit uh, lighter in that sense. And we're going to have uh, Few different titles here on the right as well. Just make it smaller as they need uh, less uh, visual emphasis overall. And here we go. All right, duplicate it a few times. Gonna make this one, this section, a little bit higher. And we're going to simply copy and paste the images. And uh, this, of course, we're going to depend on the specific type of project that, that you have. In this case, we're literally just uh, getting these main ones. And uh, yeah, overall, I think we, we should be there. So this would be it for this uh, specific section. We can increase uh, the size a little bit. We are not following perfectly the grid. Sometimes, you know, it's fine. Uh, you can basically figure out other ways to 
um, like as long as as the bulk is there I think you are good and um, yeah we're going to adapt it uh, and maybe go with a slightly different grid since I'm not really feeling the 12 column layout in, in this particular one so that's gonna be in the next video where we're going to continue with uh, this page as well and uh, I want to remind you that uh, I also recently um, launched uh, basically all my courses which I created over the past years for like a ridiculously low price uh, they were like uh, between uh, 30 and 150 dollars each uh, and uh, i'm giving them all the way in bulk uh, for nine bucks uh, and uh, yeah so if you're interested in, in leveling up uh, your design career or if you want to learn from scratch uh, what i'm doing i've been a designer for 10 years now uh, working 100 percent remotely and uh, yeah over here you can learn like getting getting started in ui ux design uh, how to create a design portfolio, all the design softwares in depth, uh, um, even things like how to find uh, and sell to high paying clients. So feel free to have a look if you're interested in this type of topics. But without further ado, we're going to continue in the next video.